Business Solutions is just that. We ask business to share the challenges they face so we can focus on the solutions they found to overcome the challenge. We discover some terrific lessons for every small business through this process. This week, Janet Butterfield with Meridian Plumbing joins us along with Greg Carlson from the Sandbox Group. So good to ha have both of you with us. Thank you so much, Janet and Greg. And let's start right off. Uh, Meridian Plumbing been in business for a number of years here in the Treasure Valley. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you've seen some of the same challenges as far as new construction tailing off, and that opens up some new opportunities for you. Yep, we've been in business for 25 years, this year in fact. Mm -hmm. um, our biggest challenge in the last three years has been the decline in new construction. Three years ago, that was 70% of our business. Fortunately, we were already doing service and repair and remodel. And so now that makes up the majority of our business. Just to give folks an idea of the, the dramatic drop that you've seen, if it was 70% three years ago, can you give us an idea what it is now? We, uh, not very much at all. Not very like much at all. a couple percent. A, okay, so it's, you've seen that big of a yes. fall yes. in new construction. That really gives us a clear picture of the kind of challenge that you're facing in this. And so, Greg, when you see a company go through something that dramatic over that short of a time, you can look at it as the challenge, but also oh, an opportunity. Abs absolutely. You know, we've talked about this reinventing yourself in, in a business. And one of the, the classic examples on a larger scale is IBM. Mm. They went from being a very big hardware company to um, almost going under when they came into the PC market. And now they are a service-oriented company and, and doing, doing very well. And the same thing applies to Meridian Plumbing. You know, they, they had a, a focus and a facet of their business that was construction. And although it takes some skills, the same skills are transferable, now they have a whole different thing to manage, and that is the customer service and taking care of the customer, making sure they have right people that uh, present themselves well and, and have good customer service skills. And I'm sure you found that to be challenging. Yeah. Well, you know, fortunately, we already had a good service division before the new construction slowed down. So we were set to go. But, you know, it was still, still adjustments. Um, customers nowadays in this economic times are they're more conservative in their spending they're better educated they ask more questions they um, they're uh, concerned about the products there's there's a lot of products out there so we find we often spend more time with them we explain to them why it's important to hire a professional plumber we stand behind the work we do we stand behind the products they purchase from us and those are some of the big changes. Well, you were doing that already, but now you see the impact of that really yes. carry through. It's really important to service them well so that they will call us again, tell their friends about us. In this market, we need, we need word of mouth advertising. Well, but you've, to be uh, able to stay open for 25 years in this market and the product and services that you offer, says something about what you've done and the reputation you've built and the customers that you're servicing. So good job on that. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, good job on and that. And you talk about it really, it's as simple as getting back to the basics. It is, it is. You know, we just sometimes forget that uh, we are not just offering a service. We are in the people business. And in Meridian Plumbing, they have to deal with people first and plumbing second. Sometimes we lose sight that we're dealing with plumbing first and people second. Mm -hmm. And uh, that can be a somewhat uh, a detriment to your business if you're not making sure that you're dealing with the people first. They, they need to know that we care. When they call, we want them to know that we care. We're concerned about their problem. We want to get out there and help them as quick as we can. We always answer our phone. Sub, some subcontractors don't answer their phone. Their voice mailboxes are full and they don't return the call. We know that when they call, they want to know now when they're going to get a plumber out there. And um, when our plumber shows up, He's presentable, he's polite, um, he drives a well-stocked truck. He mm. rarely has to drive back to a warehouse to get a part unless it's an uncommon part. And that saves both the customer money and time as well as us. And then when he's done, he cleans up. If, if, you've purchased a, if they've purchased a product from us with a warranty, uh, we send the warranty paperwork in for him. No one likes to do that, and that's just a service that we offer. Just right. a few little things like that. Janet Butterfield, Meridian Plumbing, website? Meridian-plumbing.com. All right, thank you so much. Greg Carlson, Sandbox Group, thanks for being with us as well. And when we return, a look ahead at what's coming your way in the week for news and three challenges from this show to make your business better.